Hey everybody, my name is Dowden, and in this Zoom tutorial, we're going to be looking at putting a send and return reverb inside of your drum rack, instead of using a reverb on every single channel. So let's go ahead and dive into Ableton really quickly and show you how you can do this really, really simply. So we just have my drum rack here. I have all these instruments playing. Let's take a listen. There's a lot of information, and it would be taking a lot of different reverb channels to put on all these different instruments. So what I can do is I can just click on this little R symbol, and that's gonna show the return tracks. And that is gonna open up this little audio effects area down here. So now what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna grab a reverb, and I'm going to drag and drop that into the audio effects area. And now we have this reverb down here, and then now this S symbol is available to be clicked. So before it wasn't able to be clicked because we didn't have anything in the actual return tracks. We have to have a return track in order to send something to it. So the sends aren't available without a return track. This S symbol, we can click on that. We have these send to A. So this is the A return track, and we have different amounts that we can send through to this return track. So if I wanna add just a little bit of reverb to my shaker, I can start to introduce it with this send here. So the more I turn it up, the more it's going to send that duplicated signal into the reverb return track. Wanna make sure that we're most of the time, if not all the time, having 100% wet signal coming in from our return track as to not be doubling up the dry signal. So with usually with send and return tracks and the processing with them, we are gonna have 100% wet so that we're only adding the process signal to the return track and to the master so that we're not adding duplicates of the dry signal. So I'm gonna have it 100% wet and just to quickly show you, I'm gonna dial in a bit of this reverb to the shaker. And now we can go through every single instrument and do this to every instrument and add in a specific amount of reverb that we'd like to have based on the amount of reverb that we're putting from our send information. And then you can add in multiple reverbs if you like. So we can add a, another reverb if we want. Maybe you want to have a short reverb and you want to have a long reverb. You can just duplicate this or drag in another reverb effect into this device area. And then you can adjust the settings accordingly. Keep in mind that you usually want to have your dry wet at 100% and you, you typically want to have your room settings similar so that they don't sound like they're clashing too much. If you like the video and learned something, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button.